my channel and welcome back to another video time to come back there's a lot to talk about a lot to catch up on a lot of things to show that i've gotten my lashes look crazy but we're not going to talk about them i got them done a few weeks ago but i've pulled out a lot of them because i ended up hating them i walked out of the place absolutely hating them and that same night i took some coconut oil and i took a lot of them off and now they look crazy because there's like a few left. And I'm actually having my Americano as I usually do every single morning. Yesterday, I got my wisdom teeth removed. I was terrified for it, absolutely terrified, but um, it wasn't so bad. It was really quick and it wasn't bad. And uh, now I have my bottom ones left. So I only took off the top ones and I just have the bottom ones left too take off which will be for next month the numbingness has gone away because they did inject me with like numb numbing liquid whatever to numb my mouth or my gums i just feel a little bit sore around there i've been taking ibuprofen um they didn't give me any pain medicine they just told me to take ibuprofen so that's what i've been taking and uh not bad i can't eat anything so i've been drinking uh some chicken bone broth and that's literally what i've been having all day yesterday just because he doesn't want anything to go in there it wasn't as bad as i thought it was gonna be and it wasn't even bad at all it was really quick and yeah so you're gonna go get your wisdom teeth pulled don't be afraid i was shaking i was embarrassed for it but i was having anxiety attack but everything was okay today i have to go to costco what else do i have to do oh we're going over to my parents house because we're celebrating celebrating mother's day over at their house today friday because i worked this weekend and the rest of the week so that should be fun. I'm going to take you guys with me. Don't ask me why, but he's been doing this lately. And I have no idea why. The door is open. He can go in. He's not trying to open it. He literally just scratches at the mirror. <laughs> this is the look for today. Something really bare minimum. Just a natural, a natural look. I didn't want to do. I didn't want to go all crazy, but... It's cute. And I'm wearing these contacts. They're in the uh, color Shades or in the name Shades by Lux, Lux Contacts or Lashes. Something like that. I will link them down below. I actually made a video of these contacts a while ago. They're really cool. They're really dope. And they don't look fake. So it's re they're really cute. So I feel like they pair up with the look. I'm actually wearing the shirt that I actually got a really long time ago that had not fit for a long time uh and i tried it on today and it totally fits so except oh the arms have always been tight and i think it's from shein i can't remember where it's from but it's in one of my past videos i'm just guessing it's from shein um but yeah that's what i'm wearing this shirt and some fabletics leggings and that's it that's today's look so yeah uh, i think we're gonna go to this like seafood boil place later on we'll see we'll see so uh just really depending on how many people they allow because it's like eight of us in total so uh yeah we will see but yeah guys let's let's go currently at costco getting getting some groceries and whatnot let me show you really quick what i have in my cart some pjs and there's some keto stuff i want to make some wings and then i saw this right here which looks very interesting these burger patties Valerie loves this and i want some other delicious stuff and i am now back from costco and i just want to show you a little quick haul of everything that i got if you guys don't know i'm not sure if i've mentioned in the video yet but i am back on keto and intermittent fasting so a lot of the things that i got pertain to keto and like some stuff that Valerie wanted as well uh so here we go I found I've never tried these um but they're caramelized onion and aged white cheddar 
uh, chicken burgers. So they look very delicious and just something to grab and take to work with some lettuce, tomato, avocado, and all that good stuff. Uh, but they actually really do look delicious. And the macros are pretty good. Two grams of sugar total or three grams carbs, which is like perfect. Awesome. So got these. Picked up some ham because Valerie loves his ham. So she can make her some sandwiches during the week whenever she wants. And then I love these so much. They're the chicken skewers from Costco. But they are so delicious. Like they're so, so good. So yeah, had to grab those. I grabbed some five cheese tortellini to make Valerie some pasta throughout the week as well. Just a little dinner. I needed some uh, extra virgin olive oil. And since I am still dealing with my wisdom tooth, uh, I can't eat any solid foods. So I did pick up this uh, Kirkland Signature Broccoli Cheddar Soup. I've never tried it, but um, it looks pretty delicious. So let's hope. I love, love this garlic salt it is so good literally on anything especially on um grilling meat or drumsticks whatever it's very delicious love it strawberries for valerie i also picked up this um chicken bouillon bouillon uh it's so good it is so so good uh got these fresh mozzarella balls needed some razors um, I think I showed you this over there at Costco, but this looks so good. It's like the real foods one, except uh, I don't think that they sell the real foods one. I don't think they do at Costco, but I've never tried this one, but it looks really, really delicious. Um, so I got that. Needed these. Neutrogena makeup removal wipes. Needed some deodorant. Also picked up some avocado oil. And also picked up this big bad boy chicken bone broth because I only got one yesterday then I saw this Valerie saw it actually she pointed out and I absolutely needed it kimchi some shrimp because we love to make ceviche the camarón here at home picked up two packets of the chicken party wings to make some to air fry some wings some avocados and then I saw these uh, turkey I think chicken breakfast slings which look absolutely delicious and also the macros are super super good there we go literally one gram carb and zero sugar so love that i picked up these pjs some shampoo valerie loves this seaweed so we got some seaweed and i love these uh garlic cloves so yeah that's it. Okay, so I have officially made it over to my parents' house. Uh, I'm just waiting for my brother and sister-in-law and nephew to get here. I made some reservations for us at this, uh, hi airplane, at this Cajun boil and bar area. Uh, but it is celebration for Mother's Day and we wanna do a little bit something different. Usually my parents love from this one marisco place, but it's, uh, it's a Mexican seafood place but this is a uh, Cajun seafood boil type of thing where they put the seafood inside of the bag and then they serve it to you there at the table so uh, yeah that's gonna be pretty exciting something different uh, I don't think they've ever been to a place like that but I'm pretty sure they're gonna love it so that's the plan for now I will show you guys when we get the food how it looks and whatnot so I have some time to kill so I figured I'd talk about my weight loss which is something that um, a lot of you have been asking me well if you follow me on Instagram or on my snapchat uh, I've received a lot of comments that I am losing weight which I am <laughs> weighing in this morning. I weighed in at 233 pounds, guys. I have been working in silence, just kind of like doing my own thing. Uh, not really putting it out there. It's just, I, I don't know, like, but 
the more I put it out there, the more I feel instead of like it being naturally and not thinking about it so much. I just like constantly talking about it makes me fall off a track, whatever. Um, and plus, I don't like the feeling of people relying on me to lose weight. Uh, I also don't like that. So I really liked and enjoyed that I've been losing weight on my own terms in silence again. Like just keeping myself busy, not really thinking about it or talking about it. So yes, I have lost a ton of weight uh, when I first started at my new job. I was weighing in, let's just say at the beginning of the year, I was weighing close to 280 pounds. I know, guys, ridiculous. I know. Um, but uh, I have been working a lot, so uh, I have been cutting back on fast food a lot and almost to none. I do a lot of grocery shopping and... Um, basically it so if you guys uh i know you guys have also asked me like what am i eating and basically what i'm doing is the same thing that i was doing before i'm on keto and intermittent fasting so basically i eat a really big breakfast pertaining to keto when i get home eggs bacon avocado um turkey sausage links anything you can think of that is keto i'll even have e e even if i have like enough energy to like make myself an extra extra nice breakfast i'll even make myself a nice big steak as well um but i'll eat a really big breakfast in the morning and then i'll go to sleep uh and then wake up go to work and then I'll fast the entire time I'm at work. I'll just fast. Like, I'm so busy at work that I don't really have time to, like, think about, like, eating and whatnot, which is great. Uh, so that's been working for me. And like I said, I've been working so much. Like, legit, I worked, like, 20 days straight, 12-hour shifts at one point. So, yeah. Uh, I do take a Premier protein shake to work just to have there in case I get like really really hungry which doesn't really happen um, but if it does happen because it does and has happened like if I'm, I'm going to be on my period or if I'm, I'm, I am on my period I have like these crazy cravings so I do make sure that I always carry a protein shake with me and it doesn't have to be Premier protein it can be like whatever protein of your choice that you want but um personally like me I have been taking a premier protein and I like buy like the really big cases at Costco so then that way like I don't have to like uh keep looking for stuff because it's like big in big quantities so it's there so yeah uh that has been what I've been doing um keto and intermittent fasting and it's been working really great <laughs> I'm like down to 233, which is insane. I can't remember the last time that I was 233. Uh, it's it's insane. Like literally, it's been so, so many years. And it's crazy because like I'm almost in the 220s and that hasn't happened in so, so long. Um, okay, and I also wanted to talk about something else now that we are here. Uh, something that I've been having in my mind for a very long time i just never talked about it i've talked about it with like close friends but i've never really talked about it like with you guys just because it's like been there but like i never really thought like i would do it so anyways enough claudia what is it <laughs> so my plan is uh to get a bbl and i know that it's not for everybody and not everybody's gonna agree with it and you know but my body my choice and it's just something that i've been wanting to do for a really long time forever and uh, I just figured that uh, why not get all this fupa fat sucked out and placed in the correct area which is my butt uh, this area this fupa area is literally hell trying to get rid of and I know that you can't target a specific body area and that's just one thing it's a fact you can't target a specific body area and lose that area of fat it's like wherever your body decides to lose weight it's where it's going to lose weight regardless of how many crunches and whatever you do uh you can tighten up the core and like uh work on your muscles but body fat is just something that your body just decides to lose wherever it decides to lose when it wants um not really your choice so i know it's crazy it sucks but like my fupa is just one of the areas that i've always struggled with and i just figured like claudia take that area and put it on your butt um so that's really what i want to do and i have consulted a surgeon i've been doing my, my uh, research and whatnot um and basically uh the surgeon wants me to get down to a bmi of 30 and that would be down to 190 pounds which is crazy i have not been 190 since like i think before valerie or like 
during Valerie. Like, I can't even remember how much I used to weigh when I was pregnant with Valerie, but I was definitely down there um, when or before I was pregnant. So uh, then it's something else that I thought about. Like, what if at 190, I am like, like my body, like I'm like, girl, like you don't have to do anything. But again, I don't know. We'll see where I'm at at 190 because that's like, what, 40, 40 something pounds away, I guess. Uh, so, so yeah, that is just something that I do plan on doing. Uh, I've also gotten asked if I plan on getting a tummy tuck. And honestly, guys, I don't know. A tummy tuck really terrifies me. Uh, it just terrifies me. But, like, who knows? Um, I know I do get sweaty where my fupa is and my legs. You know, that crease in the groin. I do get sweaty there sometimes. So, I, like, have to, like, go to the bathroom constantly and, like, wipe. And it is bothersome. And uh, uh, also, with WBL, I also want to get my back rolls. Um lipoed up as well because it's also a problem with like my uh with my posture like when I'm driving I drive a lot like this because um it's like I have to lean on my on my back roll because it's, it's just like constantly bothering me so I'm like constantly doing this constantly doing that uh it's just it's just having body fat in the wrong areas can be such an issue in so many ways that um I guess like only until you actually are going through this is when you actually know that it is a problem. So, uh, but who knows? Maybe at 190, I won't have no more back fat rolls. I don't know. But uh, yeah, that is something that I do plan on doing. And I know, like I said, a lot of people might not be with it or agree with that. And uh, that's totally fine. Everybody has their own personal preference and like what they want to do with their body and whatnot. But this is just something that I plan doing. And it's not something that I plan on hiding either. So I will definitely take you guys through the process and everything when it does happen because I don't plan on hiding it. Like why, why would I hide it? Like imagine I just walk in with a big old butt and like, like just like nothing. Like what, what's going on here? You know, like so many questions. I'm so confused. I mean, I would even blame you guys for like having so many questions if like I would just randomly appear with like a super curvy big booty body But I do want a booty that fits my body structure. I don't want a Kim K But we're like it's too big and my legs look too small I just I literally want something that looks natural and proportioned to my body um I just have never been a fan of my booty shape um, but it's just something that I've dealt with my life but um yeah guys that's just something that i plan on doing and i am really excited to show you guys the process when it does happen and yeah so i'm glad that i got that out the way and that we've had this conversation uh but yeah guys so i will be seeing you guys in a little bit and yeah got my mom some beautiful roses for mother's day then I got these oh, for my sister-in-law. <laughs> Dude, your voice. <laughs> what? You're going through puberty. Yeah. Going through puberty. They grow up so fast. <laughs> All right, y'all. I am back home. And I got into my pajamas, my PJs that I got at Costco. And it's crazy because it came with like these uh, biker shorts and this like t-shirt top. And then I had no idea, but it also came with this other top and these like capri style. I thought that they were just like pants and a shirt, but um, came with two like set of two sets of pajamas i took my family to this restaurant it's called cajun boil bar boil and bar it's the first time i've ever been there and it was so delicious guys like it's so good i know i said i wasn't gonna have any but like i ended up just like risking it all but um i was very careful in eating and made sure that i didn't get any in my teeth so uh yeah it's so good and the bill was like insane i did invite my family i invited my family so i paid for everyone it just felt good to be all together since i'm like working so much and just like you know just working so much so i took care of the bill and it just made me happy that like my entire family was there and we were all just having a good time which you know so grateful to have a job and 
be able to do that for my family. So it's crazy. I've never paid so much money at a restaurant, but it was all worth it. It was all, all worth it. So right now, I'm going to finally sit down and edit this vlog for you guys. And I finally cleaned up my room. It, looks, it all looks so much, so much better now. Like literally super organized, bed made and whatnot. So yeah guys, that is it for this video. I do have to work tomorrow and the rest of the week. And then I go to vac on vacation at the end of the month, so that should be fun. I still have to film um, this Shein haul for you guys because like, I wanna show you everything I got, like really cute pieces. And yeah, I just wanna show you guys what I got. Um, so yeah guys, I love you guys so, so much. And I will see you guys in the next video, bye.